Hey guys, welcome back uh, for the uh, last episode in Smart Flips for the storage unit with all the musical equipment. So uh, I finished uh, unloading, or I guess taking the last load. And uh, all right, so here's just the last load I guess I'm taking. Uh, there is a couple speakers. There is one old computer. Just because I'm curious to actually turn this on, see what it has. Uh, the guitars, the drum, and the power. Uh, what is this? No, the boat. Motor boat. Let me go around. Yeah, so it has been uh, quite the hassle. The storage units is supposed to be climate controlled, but the AC stopped working or wasn't working at all. Anyway, here is some of the good things, or I guess the last good things I left to pick up. It's mostly the tools, I left them to be the last things. Uh, here's the motor, uh, the boat motor and uh, air compressor. It is a small air compressor. Um, I believe I already showed you guys most of the stuff. Yeah, the, the drums, I was able to actually fit all of them just here. So. I'll have to take this stuff to the storage unit. Here in the back, it's pretty much everything going to the thrift store. Uh, apart from this air compressor here. It's an old style, but definitely keeping this one. Or trying to sell this one. Um, yeah, so there is some trash here. And then there is the fans. The, um, I already went to the thrift store twice. One time I took the clothing and the other time I took uh, the desktop computers. I pretty much removed the memory and hard drives from them and took everything else there. Um, so uh, yeah, this is this is the end of it. So um, uh, just a quick update on the stuff I listed on day one. I ended up actually asking for an extra day to clean up the unit and it wasn't an issue. So it took me a total of uh, three days. Um, uh, the main drag honestly was trying to actually sell the furniture that was in there and trying to deliver some of it or meet all, some people that's the reason that kind of uh, wasted so much of my time but anyway um, the furniture the uh, it's called the dressers and all that stuff I took it to the thrift store same goes with that computer desk um, yeah they they were not really that great condition and uh, since there was nobody interested nobody reached out i only listed that stuff for uh, i think 130 or 140 now nah, nobody was interested so it went to the thrift store um what else um yeah there was a freezer chest freezer and a mini fridge the mini fridge uh was actually damaged it has a small damage on the like the um, uh, pipe on the back the one that has like the gas and um because it was um, it was damaged I couldn't do anything with it so yeah that one went to uh, uh to the dump the uh it's called uh, the chest freezer i did sell that for uh 50 dollars i did sell the the lg tv um the 47 inch with the um, media table i sold them together for 100 dollars. so so far I made 150 out of a thousand dollars i spent in this unit i'm not to worry about it because honestly um there is a lot of goodies um, I'm pretty sure the motorboat definitely will pay it off if I want to sell it quick but um, I'm gonna take my time to figure out how that thing works uh, if there is something um, if it's actually working I'm actually temp tempted to get a boat <laughs> that's that's probably not something uh, that yeah I, I need to take care just of the kayak I have and that's plenty enough I don't, I don't want I don't want any boats no, not at the moment but uh, anyway, other than that, um, uh, what else? Uh, so there was a lot of um, uh, vintage audio equipment. I did show you that stuff before. Uh, I already took them home. Uh, speakers, there is a bunch of speakers. Um, and I'm a little bit conflicted about them because you see the uh, speakers, some of them had some good names uh, like Pioneer and Fishers, but uh, uh, you know because it's vintage and it's old and it's made of wood it's pretty heavy and some of them have like some slight damage on the sides uh, we're not even talking about the actual speakers themselves uh, some of them are damaged but 
even the good ones the, the one in good condition i'm not sure if i'll be able to sell them like that i'll look it up see see how the market is uh i guess for ebay pickup or facebook marketplace if none of that works i'll probably take them apart remove just the uh, parts that i can sell online and ship and the rest just dispose of it so uh, yeah it has been interesting uh what else the uh yeah the church dude <laughs> yeah the, the guy was saying uh, told me previously about yeah he said that he'll be coming to see the music equipment that's why i actually brought some guitars and good thing i didn't bring everything so i brought just a couple uh, electric guitars and uh, acoustic guitars and he was no show he didn't call he didn't show but uh, i was coming here to work anyway so uh, it wasn't really a big deal but yeah it definitely was kind of funny like hey he wanted everything but uh when uh, <laughs> i confirmed like hey this is not donations this is items i'm trying to sell yeah he yeah he he, he just uh, didn't show i didn't show didn't call didn't text or nothing so that's okay um, i'm not to worry about it um, i'm pretty sure i can make my money out of this stuff elsewhere anyway uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i think uh it has been decent uh time to sell time to convert this baggage of stuff to into cash so let's see what we can do about it and until then i hope you guys are having a good time and um, take good care of yourself all right and don't forget subscribe and like and share this video if you like it all right have a good one take care